The roster update is here. JC here today from Fitness Gamers, and we're bringing to you roster update seven. Let's see what we get. Let's see what's good to invest in. Let's jump into this live reaction. And Cedric Mullins is a diamond. This is a skyrocket increase. I knew it was going to happen whether this update or the next, as I said in the past videos. So, guys, if you invested in Cedric Mullins, quick sell now and collect your damn profits. Trey Mancini, if so the trade down is not over yet. If he goes to a playoff contending team and this guy starts to rake, expect something to happen with him soon. And it's a good buy now right now. It's not bad. And Raphael Devers, I told you guys. I told you guys. I told every single one of you. Raphael Devers was going diamond. And I had someone come in and talk about splits. And I proved my point. Raphael Devers hit diamond. The next one to come is Alex Verdugo. Don't be afraid to buy now. Devers hit diamond. If you got him, collect your profits now. Next up. Oh, Joey Gatto looks nice in the NYC Yankees uniform. And there's nothing really exciting here with the Yankees, if I'm going to be honest. The Rays, uh, Randy Rosarena hit gold. Brandon Lau hit gold. Diego Castillo hit gold. Brandon Lau hitting gold is a bit surprising because he, he's going, he's streaking. He does good one day, does bad the next. Does good three days in a row, does bad for like five. Um, but that's fine. The Blue Jays, Teoscar Hernandez went diamond. Springer, not yet. Bo Bichette hit diamond. Collect your profits, ladies and gentlemen. Collect your profits with Bo Bichette. And collect your profits with Teoscar. Springer is in line to go diamond the next update, so stay patient. And if Robbie Ray has some good starts, keep him in mind as well. Oh, that's that. That's that for the Blue Jays. The White Sox. Uh, did Abreu go silver? No, Abreu's still here. Michael Kopech got increased, so that's pretty solid to see uh, Kopech uh, get up to a gold. Uh, pretty good. Ryan Tapera. Ryan Tapera finally hit gold. Feel free to collect your profits. Feel free to collect your profits. And uh, maybe Tim Anderson can work his way back up and becoming a diamond. Uh, but I wouldn't invest in him right now. Just let's keep it. Be patient with it. Karen Jack, uh, if you, mm, it's a risky investment. I want to give you guys for sure investments, right? But if you want to buy low on Karen Check, it's not bad. It's risk-free. If the guy keeps on racking up saves and having some good outings, he could potentially be a diamond within the next two updates. That's one I will go with. Uh, Eric Haas increased uh, scope. I did say he has potential to be a diamond in the next two updates. I still think it's a good time to invest in him. But a lot of you are going to make money this update if you listen to me with Devers and the Freddie Peralta stuff. Uh, nothing here yet. I knew Savi wasn't going to go diamond this time around. But he's it's a great investment price right here. Great investment price right here at a thousand nine hundred is a great time to invest in him. There's a reason why his inside edge always has him above a diamond, and so does Wit. If Wit goes above 290 in the batting average, I think we can see an increase. Uh, let's see what we have here with the twins. Nothing really with the twins. I mean, Kepler, I wouldn't invest in him personally. People always comment in, No, I'm gonna give you my opinions on who to invest on. Uh, Kyle Tucker, slowly but surely, even though the price is high right now. So wait till it drops if it does drop. Monitor it next week. It should drop next week. Uh, Brandley is not bad either. See how he produces from now to the end of next week. And you could determine if he's going to go up within the next two updates. And I'll be here for, for you guys. I'll be telling you what's the deal with him. But he does lead the league in average right now. Shohei got bumped up to an 86. Uh, his way up slowly. For Coming gold. Andrew Heaney is headed up there slowly. Uh, the Angels are no joke. They're a legitimate team, and they're about a couple games back in the wild card. It's going to be fun the next two months in baseball. You're not going to want to miss anything of it. The Athletics, oh, Starling Marte. Bassett, I uh, got to see how he does the next couple of starts. Uh, Manaya, I truly think he deserves to go gold. I don't know what they're waiting for. I'd invest in him if I were you. I think it's safe that he is their ace and they're gonna they're a playoff contending team. Um uh Mitch Hanniger. did he hit gold now? Yes, I think he hit gold now. Not too sure, but I'm pretty sure he hit gold. Uh that's that's that that I think as far as investing terms. Uh nothing too much going on here, guys. 
the Braves, mm, maybe Dansby. I have been hearing talks of Dansby, not a fan. Will Smith, I'd rather invest in Will Smith over Dansby. Will Smith has potential to go gold just because he's doing great at the closer role for that team. Adam Duvall hits gold and gets traded to the Braves. Yes, got traded to the Braves. The Marlins officially have no diamond player because they traded off Starlin Marte. The Mets, Peter Alonzo. Don't be afraid. Start investing in Pete. Polar Bear Pete will go diamond. Next update, I'm predicting it now. Invest in Polar Bear Pete. You're hearing it here. Invest in Pete Alonzo. He's going to go diamond next update. Uh, trust me. Do it. <laughs> if you want to. Uh, Gene Segura, I knew it wasn't going to happen. I, I think it's the power. What, you're going to make his contact 125? You're going to make him a legend? It doesn't work like that. Uh, did, did, did he get sent down or was he always a gold? I, I haven't been too familiar with uh, Romuto. Uh, nothing really too exciting here. Nothing nothing worth talking about here. He's gone. He's gone. He's doing good. Uh, he's gone. Harrison is gone. He's gone too. Nothing really going on with the Nats. He's gone. He's gone. Javi Baez invests now because if he has a hard start with the Mets, he will go diamond. Keep that in mind. He's gone. He's gone. He might be gone. A lot of different things you're going to see. Joey Votto. Guys, invest in him as well. This man does not seem to be slowing down. He He's getting better as the games progress through the season. And that's how Joey Votto is. Like a fine wine. He gets better as the season progresses. You know, there was a year he had a low batting average. He's like, yo, man, I still got like 160 games. To, you know, 130 games to go. I'm going to be fine. And guess what he was? Invest in Joey, uh, Joey Votto. Not a bad idea. The Brewer, Freddy Peralta, go and collect. I know I don't have much because I sold them a long time ago for 48, 4900, near that price. Collect your profits with Freddy Peralta. He finally did it, and he should have been a diamond ages ago. I don't know what the hell they were waiting for. He should have been a diamond ages ago. And look, they have uh, Eduardo Escobar. Did he go up, or he was always a gold? I think he was always a gold, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, nothing really much to invest in here, though. So, Freddie did it. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, Brian Reynolds having an outstanding season. I'm surprised no team has landed him yet. We got 40 minutes before the deadline ends. It wouldn't be a bad idea to invest in Brian Reynolds. Because if he, could, if he keeps producing, goes to a playoff team, he will be a diamond within the next two updates. We still got about three more updates while we have... Two in August, right? And then maybe like one in September. Or maybe four updates. I'm not too sure. So not a bad investment here. The Cardinals, wow. Harrison Bader is nearing a diamond uh, territory. I told you guys Giovanni Gallegos is not a good investment. He did, he did bad the past two weeks. He's a good reliever, but he's not there yet. Did Alex Reyes hit gold yet? Alex Reyes would be a good investment. Alex Reyes, best investment right now on the Cardinals. Buy him low if he hits gold and he keeps doing what he's doing. And his inside edge is 81 for a reason. He's the best reliever in baseball. One of the best. Let's not say the best. But he's like near perfect, right, with save opportunities. Invest in Alex Reyes. Uh, I don't know if Bader's in a touch diamond. I mean, what, they're going to make his defense perfect? His hitting is decent, but nothing out of this world. And please stop investing in Gallegos unless he goes on a tear the next two weeks. And he needs to have at least five appearances in those weeks. So 10 appearances in the next 14 days. Uh, well, nothing, nothing, nothing with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Ryan McMahon hit gold. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, if Story goes to a playoff team, produces, he could get bumped up. But I'm not going to really risk that. There's a lot of, a lot of variables that are coming into play. Cody Bellinger is down. That's, uh, not a shocker. Max Muncy took his spot and he's, well, going for a decent price for as much as a Diamond should go by this point of the year. Chris Taylor, I think Chris Taylor has potential to be a diamond in the next two updates, but I mean, I already gave you guys people to invest in that I think are guaranteed, but right now, and as far as the Dodgers go, I'll be big on Chris Taylor. I'll be big on investing in Chris Taylor. For a thousand stubs, nothing to lose. Invest now. You got nothing to lose at all. Invest now, because he's he's carrying that team right now. The Padres, Cronin worth the Crone Zone. The Crone Zone is going to go diamond the next update. I promise you that. Invest in him now. You won't be upset. Give it. Wait a couple days. Next week, the price will drop. Next week, the price for the Crone Zone will drop and buy him, and he will hit diamond. I promise you. And Musgrove is nearing that territory again. He had a great start last night. Adam Fraser's up and down right now. If you have him, hold it. 
nothing to lose if that price goes up over 3k within the next two weeks sell him invest in Cronenworth or in, sell him now invest in Cronenworth you'll, you'll be fine trust uh nothing oh Anthony Descafani we've been saying it for the longest he hit gold so that's a pretty good one there Jake McGee is the next one in line. You want to invest in someone solid, invest in Jake McGee for the Giants. He will hit gold soon. Uh, he'll hit gold next update. He's a big part of their their success. Big part of their success. And that's where we're closing it off. So I hope you guys found that informative. A lot of, a lot of you know, I mean, I'm proud of the callings that I've made. You look at the comment section. You look at my descriptions. I told you guys to invest in Devers. It happened. Best third baseman in the game. Uh... Rosarena called, Bo Bichette, easy call, Teoscar, easy call, kind of disappointed with Springer, because he's doing pretty good, and his defense has been elite, too, Springer will go up soon, so a lot of, a lot of cool things that we saw today, this was, this was a great update, this was a, this was considered a good update, so I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys found this informative, take notes, I gave you guys some pretty good guys to invest in, let's give a rundown, Patrick Sandoval, Andrew Heaney, uh there's a lot I, I, there's several it's not just like one guy there's several guys pete alonzo pete alonzo is definitely one uh javi baez is another great prices joey Votto is another you know brian reynolds potentially look at this i think his price went up uh alex reyes another one like all right guys it's up to you man you control what you do you can just take my advice and go from there. Cronenworth and Musgrove. Big ones I'm on, you know? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and sub. Remember to brush your teeth, wash your hands, clean your ass. JC from Fittest Gamers. Shout out to the whole FG fam. Shout out to every single one of you. Shout out to the MLB The Show 21 fan base. Let's keep this rolling, boys. Let's take over. Peace out. God bless you all. Love you. Peace.